And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second expedition. Um, that's right, we just finished our first one. We went uh, seven and one. We got that seven win a dream. And uh, I guess you get to do two uh, these drafts, basically two expeditions. So we're going to uh, try try it again, you know, try to get some more, more practice and everything, get more experience. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So this is basically like drafting uh, for Legends of Runeterra. That's our current game that we're playing. So let's see. So we first start with picking a couple of champions. Um, and let's see. I'm not sure if y'all have been voting on this one yet. But yeah, let's see who we got. So we got Ash. Um, that has attack. Frostbite the strongest enemy. Level up if we Frostbite five plus enemies. I don't know. Ash seems okay. We get a 10 drop. She who wanders, you obliterate all followers with four or less power in play and in hands. That's crazy. And then shatter, deal four damage to an enemy if it has zero power, otherwise frostbite it. So kind of, it's fine. We got Azerial, Azerial with Elusive being a three mana one three that whenever it strikes the nexus, you create a fleeting mystic shot in hand. And a mystic shot is just a two, all right, two mana deal two to anything. And if we targeted the enemy units eight plus times and it flips into a two four, same nexus strike. And whenever you cast a spell, deal two damage to the enemy nexus. And then we have Garen, which I know all about Garen. Played Garen plenty of times. Um, I definitely like Garen. So whenever you summon an elite, grant it plus one, plus one, and you get a five mana, five, five also. So that's pretty good. This gives you a one mana, two, one to play me, discard one. That's not that's not that great. And it just says attack, deal two to the enemy nexus. All right, so what are y'all voting for? So it looks like everybody's voting for Garen. Looks like Garen's got... We got six, five, fifteen for the votes. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty comfortable with Garen. Uh, I've I've never played either of these cards before, and these other ones don't seem that great. I'm I'm pretty comfortable with Garen. Let's we'll go, we'll go. This we'll go with this. Um, and now we can add Lux. Lux is fine. Some of the Dauntless Vanguard and Detain. Looks is fine. Played that card. We could get Draven. Um, which I'm not big on Draven. Arena Bookie. Start of the round. Discard your lowest cost card to draw one. And Brothers Bond or Callista. 4 2 Fearsome. I bond with an ally. Grant a plus 2 plus 0 while we bond. Level up. You see 3 of them die. Callista seems really sweet. But then you get Ancient Croc Crocolith to play me, kill two allies. So if we would have taken a Zerial, then we then we would have taken Draven after that, because then we would have had the discard synergies. What's up, Baloney Pony, with that re seven month resub? Thanks, Baloney Pony. And then Atrocity, kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to anything. Gosh, that's not even that's not very good. To play me kill two allies? That's not very good either. Huh. So Callista's good, but I don't like either of those cards very much. We could just like stay stay de, de, I kinda wanna just take Lux here and just stay Demancia. If that's if that said that right. Just stay with Demancia and Um Yes, this game is very easy to pick up. And let's check the votes. Oh yeah, everybody's saying just just take this also. Because then we just get, we can just kind of keep on hammering home like this one guild, basically. This one. Um, yeah, so it's, it's easy to pick up brand new because I just picked it up yesterday, Baloney Pony. I just picked it up yesterday, brand new. And I'm doing very well, as you can see, with our records and stuff. Um, and But no, it's not a long time investment, no. Um, okay, so both those cards were better than they looked. Okay. All right, anyway, we got Silverwing Scout. That card's good. It's elusive and tough. 
and we can detain an ally capture as a unit. A capture card is removed from the game. It returns when the capturing unit leaves play. So you just turn something into like deputy of detention. Radiant strike is pretty meh. Detain again. Or we get the Reaver and Elixir of Iron. Give an ally plus zero plus two that round. That card's very meh. Reaver, either Scout or Reaver are the best cards. I guess we're going to just take the Scout and Detain, I guess. Oh, no. Like, these games are... No, this is, you know, this is a best of one card game. It's So, like, they're not, they're not like, super long games or anything. I guess we're just going to take the Scout and Detain. I don't, I don't love where our deck is, though. This doesn't seem like a very good deck so far. But no, a game's like, you know, 15, 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, we're doing like the draft format right now. Uh, to play, spend all your mana, deal that much damage to a unit. That card's pretty good. Summon two uh, scrape, scrap, scuttlers. So you just get two one ones for two. That's not that great. Tiana Crown Guard is a 7-7. Seven, seven that's tough and rallies. So you want to play that on their turn. You get a 3-2, give an ally barrier. That's good. Is barrier... Okay, yeah, barrier just lasts one round all the time. So that's a pretty good. That's pretty good. Back to bait... Oh, back to back. That card's good. And then a one drop. So the thing is, we have, like, basically all five mana cards right now. Let's see what people say. People are pretty tied between these two. And I could see that. They're both like pretty average. Neither um Neither are amazing. What uh, I guess the name for the expedition run would just be the the two um, champions that we start with. Back to back is very good. I would take Sithra because it says it stays in the elite synergy. Oh, because we have an elite thing. Whenever you summon an elite, grant a plus one plus one. And back to back is very good. So all right, cool. We'll take that. Uh, purify and detain. I mean, I like purify. I don't. I don't know. I don't really want another detain. We have two detains already. Ugh, I really don't want another one. Uh, reinforcements. Two dauntless vanguards. So two three threes. Then grant elite allies plus one plus one. So there'll be two four fours. So get you get two four fours, and then all elites get that. Um, this card's good. Yeah, that card's good. So maybe that. What do we got here? Create in hand an exact copy of a random spell from the enemy's deck. It's kind of cool. Hmm. I think I want this stay, stay on the elite thing. Mystic shot do two to anything. That's not a bad. That's not a bad choice for going off. Round give allies challenger this round and a five five, five mana five five tough. Hmm. I don't man. Don't love these ones either. What do y'all think here? Looks like we got looks like it's tied up. <laughs> it just keeps on going three three four four five five. Yeah, so like you know, they, they, both of them you get the Vanguard Cavalry. So it's, would we rather have On Guard give our allies Challenger or Radiant Strike give an ally plus one plus one? And I don't love either. I don't love either. It's like, uh. Maybe we just go with this on guard. I'll, I'm gonna take the on guard. I've played a lot of Radiant Strike and it's pretty average. Right, let's let's try this out. And it, it's got a little bit more votes now. So 
All right, so now a one mana 2-2 two, two elite and a two mana 2-2 two, two tough elite. So I like that. I like both of those. Three mana 3-3 three, three play. If you cast the spell this round, remove all text and keywords from an enemy follower. That's pretty strong. And that's just for good. That is strong. And then get another scooter. So that's pretty good. And then this thing attacks as a 4-4. That's pretty good too. Hmm. I think I like this one. Yeah, so it's like, it's Purify. You spend one extra mana for Purify and you get a 3-3 attached to it. Yeah, that seems pretty sweet. Oh, but everybody's voting for this. Wow. This has zero votes. <laughs> everybody's just voting for these two, just staying with the elites. All right, so I guess, so y'all think we should just stay with the elites energy? I guess so. All right. <clears throat> we'll just stick, stick with the elite synergy and lower our curve. Both good things. Now we can still get that exact same one that we were just looking at. I don't like that middle one. We're not taking that middle one. Blech. All right, we're going to take this one. I don't really like those other cards. Detain. Bleh. This card's good. I don't really want another detain. That one has Detain. I don't want that card either. Man, we have to take all these cards I don't want. I do like the Blade Keeper. Reduce the cost of allies in hand by one. That's just not a very good card. So give an ally barrier this round. That's not bad. Hmm. I really don't want Detain. And I don't want Mobilize. But we have to either take Detain or Mobilize. Am I am I underrating one of those cards, detain or mobilize? <laughs> yeah, what bad spells, I know, right? Oh, this this so this thing gets plus two plus two every time it attacks, like that other thing, because it says whenever it attacks, it gets plus two plus two. So if it survives, then it attacks again, it gets another plus two plus two. Detain's really good. Well, we got two already, and our our whole curve is five drops, as you can see down here. So yeah, let's take this Mobilize and Blade Keeper, I suppose. It's it's winning the votes pretty heavily also. <clears throat> All right, we got a Mage Seeker Conservator. Last breath, create in hand a six plus cost spell from a region, uh, from a region other than Demacia. I like that card. And I like this card too. All right, so that's a good one. And then we got Single Combat. Ooh, that card's very good and prismatic barrier which is pretty fine okay so that's not bad why can't we have those for our options for like the last one war chefs this is just fine but also that's just pretty cool art and everything war chefs <laughs> are you kidding me that's that's awesome and then laurent protege oh yeah that card's very good too these, all three of these are like better than all these other ones that we've been taking. Why can't we get one? Of, why could they split this up? Yeah, these are all good. Um, honestly, I think I want to take this first one because this first one, like, you know, this is like a three mana, three, three draw card because obviously how you have, you have to set it up. But I want to, um, Three mana, three three, draw a card, and this is like a, a one mana, one one draw a card. You know, like whenever it dies, you get you draw another card. So I think I just kind of want to get these things that draw cards. I'm gonna take gonna take the card advantage. When you summon elite, grant a plus one plus one. Yeah, we could probably grab another of those because we got a bunch of elites. What else do we got? Remembrance costs one less for each ally that died this round to summon a random five cost follower. And then a scooter, give an ally barrier, and war chefs. I think I want another battlesmith and keep on going with that with the elites. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, every it's just a clean, clean sweep. Every single person's voted for that. Okay, this is another good one. Get another elite and back to back. That's good. We got Blade Keeper, which is a good card. 
and Relentless Pursuit, which is meh. Plucky Poro is tough and a scout. Um, I think, okay, so we have one back to back already. So the only one that's an elite is this Vanguard Defender. So we'll, yeah, so we'll take that. Oh, another Battlesmith. And another Elite. This is a... Get a Barrier and a Detain. I don't like Detain. Like, the, this 2-drop and 4-drop are maybe a little bit more powerful, but I think we just keep on hammering these Battlesmiths and the Elites. Yeah, everybody's voting for that. Sergeant's not bad either. You don't get that four Demacia. You don't draw a card. I like Mage Seeker. Lauren Duelist. Give an allied challenger this round. That is strong. Neither of those are elites, but that is strong. War Chefs is cool, but not an elite. That card's fine. 5-4, last breath, create an elite in hand, and it has challenger. That's strong. And then border lookout, not so great. So none of these are elites. Um, we don't really have, like, I guess our top end is just five drops right now. Looks like y'all are saying this one over here, get the swift swiftling lancer. No, it's, I guess it's tied up. You know what? Yeah, let's go with this. I mean, I just really like this Mage Seeker Conservator. I like that card. All right, trade. We can trade Mobilize. I, I just want to do that. What else do we got? We can trade On Guard for this one mana Elite. That's actually a pretty good trade, too. And Or we could trade the Duelist for Radiant Guardian. When I'm summoned, grant me Lifesteal and Tough. Ooh, that's good too. I, can I do all the? I, I want to do all the trades. Um, this Cytheria really fits our deck well with the Battlesmiths, but on guard is fine. I think like Mobilize is just like maybe the worst card in our deck. So turning the worst card in our deck into something useful is probably just the best trade that we can do. I'm undervaluing Mobilize. Definitely could be. Definitely could be. <laughs> I saw Trade Mobilize even look at the rest. The thing about Mobilize is it can be used with our spell mana, but oh well, it's gone. All right, here we go. Let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. So we're gonna try to get seven wins again. I don't even know who one of those is. All right, we're gonna get rid of the detain. And the scout for now. Oh, I'm so jealous, that card's great. Here. 
It's like I could wait for it. So they're playing a 4-7, so it was a 2-5, but it got plus one, plus one from each of those. The finest Demossian steel. Yeah, 4-7's pretty big. Now we can, you know, get all of our creatures plus two, plus two whenever we play them. That's going to definitely start adding up. Four mana, five, five, end of round, reduce my cost by one. So that obviously doesn't matter anymore, but it's just reduced to four. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, normally you'd be able to choose with this card two, five, or five, two. I only have slow spells. Trozen, a brand new Twitch Prime sub. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Trozen. Welcome to the channel. My time is coming. All right, so that's actually sub number 12 of the day. So I was one behind. And also, let's... Call this Expedition 2. We are 0 and 0. And Expedition 1. We are 7 and 1. Okay. We got 5, five mana. I had a unit die. Our ancestors are watching. Let's draw a card. That's a great card to draw. We'll bring peace to oh, that Karma card. That karma Chameleon. Karma, 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 Chameleon. That card defeated us before. Should have played this first. They're nine. That's fine. No. That could be good for me. Now they have they have less mana to interact. Oh, I could have pulled the spell back. Oh, we got karma out of there. That's big time. Karma's gone. When you cast a spell, grant the top ally in your deck plus one, plus one. I think I want to detain. So 
We'll have like this thing capture that thing. And then we'll have I'm I'm ready. Two two block there. Four four block here. And three three block here. Because then if they get this thing back, it's still just going to be like a 2-5 instead of a 4-7, right? An auspicious season. It's dangerous out there. Take this. Try to do this. Hope it works this time. They did not block. Interesting. I really expected a block. So nobody died. So I don't get to draw a card with this. We'll play this and say and save a mana. Summon two copies of that. By snow and stars. Jeez. And I'm at five. And I just can't have more creatures. That's that's the big problem. Is I just can't have more creatures. That's 21 trample damage. I don't think I get like these extra creatures, unfortunately. But I just like pumping, kind of pumping my team. I'm only adding four toughness on the on the battlefield. Yeah, we got we got hurt for sure by not only being able to go six wide. Yeah. That was a lot of seven six tramplers. No experience, no. All right, so we're at level ten on the vault. <clears throat> All right, want to trade Secession? We just get a three mana, three, three elite for a barrier. I think I want to do this fourth one. Oh, yeah, this thing's an elite also. Yeah, I want to do this. I don't want this detain. Those detains did not look good. I want these vanguards. Two two ones with Challenger. They're both elites. I want that. All right, yeah, if we lose again, we're out. <clears throat> yeah, this is an interesting game. Yeah, this is a real good one. Really like this game.
you know, I don't have I don't have nearly as many you know viewers in here now or on YouTube before, but hopefully that'll grow because yeah, I really like this game. Uh, I like kind of like this stuff. Let's get rid of the five drop and see what else we get. All right, we just get a four drop instead. I wanted to find a two drop, of course. Recite, protect me. But even if we don't spend the two mana, we can use it. Track them down. Um, no, let's play this thing first. I'm actually here. Bills is lit. Nothing escapes my notice. No attacks. All right, should have just attacked for one. So if they attack, and I get to block, then I can play this thing. My family, my blood. Three, two. When I survive damage, create a random crimson unit in your hand. It's pretty good. Magic has no place here. Do I not? I just don't choose? Why didn't I choose? Play. If you cast a... Oh, if you cast a spell this round... Oh, it's not whenever you play this. I'll do my best. Got to play a spell first. Got it. I misunderstood what that card did. Death doesn't scare me. Noxus lives on. And right, then we're going to play this thing and draw a card. I don't carry chain. Okay, yeah, and it's only spells, so like the units don't count as that. So yeah, this card's not nearly as good as I thought it was. New recruit reporting in. <clears throat> All right, so now they have the sword icon. So now they get to attack. the obvious blocks assume they have some kind of trick mm, they're just gonna have these two strike each other it's fine Injustice. we just get the to kill the two creatures When it's on the battlefield, it doesn't really matter that it's an elite. When it's already on the battlefield. I guess there's like the one card. I, But I thought that this had more... Um, had more usefulness. Stay safe, m'lady. Major. Are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. A beacon in battle. So 
So yeah, we have the importance of elite cards. We have like Battlesmith. Whenever we summon an elite, it, it just gets plus one, plus one for the rest of the game. The, to tell like what the cards are at the top of the top here. Reporting in. I don't feel like that's a bad attack. I feel like that's pretty free because like the. Because that barrier just goes away, right? Yeah, like the barrier just lasts one round. It's like that barrier was going to go away as far as I know. I know they just regenerate, so it didn't actually do anything. Oh, we gave Garen a strike towards level up. Oh, well, I'm capturing Garen anyway. Pleasure to see you too, my dear. Gosh, things have burst also. I just can't respond to their stuff. These bursts. You block here, you block here, I'm ready. you block there, you block there. attack seemed to be really good for us. Seemed to work very well. Attack! Sweet! Alright, got that first win. Got that XP. We don't have to worry as much about, I mean, it's only 50 match XP here, but I guess at the end we get more experience, which, you know, we need for leveling stuff up. <clears throat> we don't need to worry too much about getting seven wins or not this time, because we already got seven wins with the first run. All right, so we get a new champion. So we can get a Garen, a Lux, or a Lucian. I want a Lucian. Lucian comes with Fleet Feather Tracker and Radiant Guardian, so two non-elites. Garen is an elite and comes with two elites. Ugh. Lux, I'm, yeah, we're not, we're not doing Lux. I was gonna say, watch out for Settle. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we could get the triple elites for the elite deck, but I mean, we have a bunch of threes and fives already. Lucian is just like the best card. I'm going to just grab the best card. I'm just going to grab Lucian. That is... Hmm. That is tough passing up all these elites, though. All right, fine. We'll take the elites. Fine, we'll take the elites. Stick with the synergy. Instead of getting the power. Do, 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 do. Expedition's good. It's, it's very it's very long. Um, 
And I, you know, we'll have to like at the end, you know, we'll really see what we get for it. But yeah, it is a long process. But it's it's a really good way to learn the game, though. Like I've learned a whole lot about the game with like different cards and everything. Obviously, replacing that, and then uh, let's just replace one of these. So yeah, it is is definitely a great way to to be learning the game. Check out these moves. When you summon an ally, give me plus one plus one this round. Not a bad card. You're covered. Ready for deployment. Be careful of Fiora. What's a Fiora? I've killed two enemies. I think I played against that card one time and it wrecked me. Pretty sure that card wrecked me. Okay, now five two. Our ancestors are watching. I don't love like our our hand. You know, like it's just all three, four, five mana cards. Don't love what we got going on over here. You'll soon understand my methods. Curve wise. I guess this is worth it. Okay, Expedition's the best draft mode you've ever played in card games. Okay. Yeah, the replacement option is really cool. That is definitely cool. Especially if you're kind of forced to take cards you don't want. You get to replace them later. By heart and soul for the So their thing's elusive, an elusive 5-4. This card's really good. It has elusive and challenger. And it's a 5-4? I guess it's probably normally a 4-3 that that 1-1 one, one, yeah, bumped up. So yeah, normally a 4-3, but still. Good card. So of course I'm willing just to trade because that thing has elusive. Um, I don't have anything I can do, do I? No. Blocking the 1-1 one, one with the 3-1? I mean, I guess so. Gotta save that life. Is this thing a follower? So I can try to... 
remove all text and keywords from this follower. Magic has no place here. That would be nice. Uh We don't get to do that though. Today we turn I was gonna play this, you know, play this thing. Of course, it's a slow spell. Ooh, challenger! We get to eat this five-one. Cool. Yeah, I would have had to play the the spell, but didn't have time. Didn't get to react. Show yourself. Hmm. So that's just a generic 6 6 now. A pretty challenging game, really makes you think a lot. Need to play some scooters to try to have a blocker. Feel the sizzle. So they're gonna make this Chase thing plus one plus, so that's gonna be a three three. Eat up, friend. All right, so block here, and then just block, block. Jump. Because as you can tell, I have a lot more cards in hand. I just want to try to stay alive and have the game go as long as possible. That was a great card. Okay. Round nine. Let's get that thing out of here. This one one. That I haven't been able to get rid of, and it's been getting very large every single turn. Let's finally get that out of here. The power of our own. The finest Demosian steel. So all of my elites will now have plus one, plus one. So that's going to include this. This thing will now be a 6-6 six, six with toughness, with tough, so the 6-4 doesn't kill it. So this gives all of my allies challenger. That could be pretty powerful. Recall three enemies? I guess it is a 9-drop. Wow, that is good. Don't you dare. Um, I can only play one thing before I have to start blocking, so I guess I want to play this thing. The 
Command is one. The blade above. Dude, that card is sweet. Wow. And then another recall? That's like been their, their top decks? Still that 4-1 flyer. Uh, I'm one one mana short from what I want to do. Side by side, into battle. Yeah, I can clear it with and guard. Oh man, they drew their challenger? Alright, well, so I have four extra mana besides on guard. So, I mean, I guess I'll play this thing that's a 4 4. I'm going to clear that, clear that. Even though we don't, we don't draw a card, but that's fine. Okay, so this thing, that's going to block, and then we're going to have the 4-4, four, four, where you block, we're going to have this 4-4, four, four, where you block, just trade, and I'm just going to trade these. Wow, I guess that on guard is very powerful. Trade my two, two of my creatures, two of my units, and my on guard for their entire board. For king and country. Opponent surrendered. We did it. We just stayed alive long enough. Just. You know, kind of classic mid-range strategy. Just kind of kept on playing a whole bunch of big things. We got zero experience for winning. So we're like out of getting experience for today. That's a bummer. Okay, I like this first trade, getting rid of Detain. Um, oh, man. That second trade, though, getting another Battlesmith. All right, yeah, we just got to do that second trade, get the Battlesmith. Get rid of this Investigator, I guess. We just need another Elite thing. Yeah, we get the exp yeah, we get XP at the end of the expedition for how many ones we get. place and we're just gonna keep all those round one not doing anything okay so versus AI give separate X separate XP from versus players you get more from doing that interesting Look at all these elites in hand with our Battlesmith. It's like we built our deck to do that. I can't do that thing. Mm. 
I don't want, I don't want them to kill my battlesmith. Sturdy blades, custom made. Okay. I was Yeah, I could have let them attack and then played. Battlesmith, but then they would still just have the three they'd still be able to just kill my battlesmith the next turn anyway. Like pretty easily. Approaching the battlefront. The dark beckons. So I had a hope that they were just going to just, like, my hope was that they were just going to kill the 1-1 anyway. Eyes blazing bright as torches. Get some exact copies. Oh, right, that's not elusive. All right, fine, skip block. I have to remember the elusive's not flying. <laughs> I, you know, like see like these birds in the air and just kind of assume that they're elusive. But elusive is not flying, different. Different thing there. Definitely keep forgetting about that. Ionia speaks through me. Mm -hmm. Our ancestors are watching. Four three is good. I mean, I could could try detaining it, but I just feel like they were just gonna kill my creature, whatever I detain it with, and that maybe my better chance is next turn grant this thing a plus two plus two, and then force them to attack into it. I'll just do that right now. I have the five mana up, so I have the detain available in case we need to interact. Use removal on my one one, I guess. If they do, then I get to draw something sweet. But yeah, they they're down to just the one man because of course they played that this turn. So basically, I'm just going to be attacking to kind of clear some room so I can play some more creatures. Oh, 
Ouch. Frostbites. A Demacian soldier is worth tenfold. I need to make need to make more. Um need to be able to play more creatures than what I can. Six creature limit hurt me again. Hurt me with my first loss too. So I just can't even use like this manix game play stuff. Just block on the 1 1 so I can play uh, this Redeemer. I know I only saved one life, but I'm just clearing off the space. And then, you know, we'll try this for Demacia. The next turn. Yeah, I just gotta hope they don't have Deny. Yep. I have 10 cards. No deny. That's good. They're going to start frostbiting stuff. Frostbite everything. I just can't I can't play more things. Oh, I should I should maybe just attack. No, I mean, what's the point of attacking with the 06? They just won't block. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. This karma card seems really good. Played against it twice, lost both times. That is true. Oh yeah, if they do that, the evolved. I didn't even think of that. Like a evolved karma gets you play tw All your spells are doubled. So they would have played that same thing. They would have frostbit everything one turn and then would have killed all my stuff the next one. Yeah, that would have hurt. They get two more copies, but they only have... They only have room for one more creature, right? So even though they would have gotten like four of those... Wow, that certainly helps. We would have been real dead. <laughs> if they had three more of those things, we would have been real dead. Alright, they got pump, I'm dead. But if they had pump, I was gonna die anyway. Oh, wait, wait, oh! I need to play this thing! I have to say that before block. Whoops. I, yeah, I did, I did that mistake yesterday too, but... 
Oh well, we were in a really tough spot. I need to play that before I click the block button. Whoops. All right, but anyway, now the exciting part. Let's. Why are they asking me to trade still? Aren't we dead? I do kind of need less creatures and more tricks. Oh, because it's two in a row. We have to lose two in a row. So, uh, let's see. Out of the th out of the three cards, the one I want the most is the repo repost. But out of these three, the one I want to give up the least is an on guard. <laughs> yeah, we're already getting punts. Yeah. Um... So maybe I don't do any trades. I don't think I want to do the first one. I don't want to do this one. So it's really just this one. Do I want to give up this Lauren Duelist for the reinforcements? And I kind of think no. Yeah, because I can use this basically as removal. I'm going to just skip the trade. <laughs> So yeah, because you have to lose two in a row to be eliminated. So you can keep on playing until you lose two in a row. So yeah, this is a really good value for like time played for a draft. For sure. Our first, because like this is one draft. And we played, we, you get two runs. Our first run took two hours. This run is, you know, an hour and 10 minutes so far. And this is from just using like one one draft so you get really good value for you know like the money you you spend to how much you get to play with hey Kapata thanks yeah I'm, I am enjoying Legends of Runeterra so far I'm gonna just put this thing back keep our one two three four curve it doesn't have doesn't have our best two drop though. The one that story. pumps all of our elites. Real Lump of Wumps. When I'm summoned, create a mushroom cloud in hand. Approaching the battlefront. You think I should mulligan more aggressively for it since we have the four copies? I could see that. I mean, this was a, just a good curve, but yeah, I could see I'll do my best. me mulliganing for that two drop. Cap Peddler. Whenever you cast a spell, plant three Puff Caps in the deck. Remember the fallen. So now that spell does eight Puff Caps. That's a lot of them. Did they get a Teemo? Yeah, they have a Teemo. Bertalux! Thanks, Bertalux. Thanks for that re sub there with Twitch Prime.
Thanks, Bertalux. All right, let's see. Uh, what, I got four mana? Let's make this thing a 4 4. Florence are born with place in heart. <laughs> yeah, good to be back. Yeah, no old window. I have these windows here, but um, basically, I I got a, a well, it's new desk, but it's a used desk, but I got a, a new desk that I'm going to be setting up. Um, basically next to where I have this. I kind of have everything on like a small little table right now. Um, but I'll be setting that up and then, and where I'll have that, I won't have like the windows behind me at all. I'll have like these windows uh, to the side. And so we'll kind of see how that looks and if need be. Why would you even make that attack? And if need be, I'll get curtains besides just these blinds that are on here. There's my battlesmith. You get this card, Grant an Ally Elusive. I don't like how you have to click OK every single time you play a slow spell. It's like, do you want to do more stuff? Well, I have nothing to do. I have no mana. I have to click OK. All right, so they just give me eight more of these. So now Teemo is leveled up wherever, wherever Teemo is. And we're gonna attack with everything. We strike. Except for the 2-2. Two -two. So we'll have six mana next turn, so we'll either be able to play Lux, or what we're really gonna do is we're gonna play this Elite uh, and this Elite. We're gonna play both of these Elites to get the Elite bonus. If the draft will offer the Allegiance Demacia card, this deck will be even better. Ooh, I'm not sure what card that is, but... That'd be nice. It's not broken, just needs a little love. Those are nice, that's three twos now. Ow. Ready for deployment. Time to attack. Ooh. Another battlesmith. Nice. Um, I just I don't have like the room to play another battlesmith and and Garen, which would be my plan. So let's just go to attackers. Let's just attack with these. Oh, I didn't pull this. I meant to pull it. Uh, maybe I don't need to pull it anyway. It's actually probably better that I don't pull it. I'll let it block something else. No, because I could have pulled it and then attacked with the 2-2. Right, I just forgot about the challenger as I was, think I was thinking about this stuff and talking about that. Just forgot about that. This is my home. 
So it looks like they have some kind of instant. How's y'all's weekend been? Given that thing plus three, plus zero, and overwhelm, that doesn't that doesn't do anything. Why are they giving that plus three, plus zero, and overwhelm? All right, now I got more room on the battlefield. <laughs> Timo, no. Prepared for anything. So it's a two-two elusive. Whenever it hits me, double my puff caps in my deck. All right, whatever. My heart and soul for the muffin. Yeah, they want to kill. Yeah, they want to block the challenger for the team. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. I need to. Do, yeah. Um. No, that's that's a good call. Sturdy blades, custom um, made. Good call, Bertolux. I do need to update all of that. I I haven't really determined what I want Our like new ready. schedule to be right now. And right now I'm just uh, trying out Legends of Ruterra. I want to be playing this for a while and give this a try and everything. That thing had three on it. I've got just the thing for you. I don't make them for the show. Yeah, I shouldn't have played one of these other two twos last turn. No, it's not that I'm not doing MTG anymore. I'm just, I'm just trying out a new game for a, for a little while. All right, we got the win. And seeing how it goes. All right, GG's. All right, so we are three and two. Um, all right, we get a new champion. So we get a Garen, a Lux, or a Lucian. Garen is an elite and brings along two other elites, including Sith Sithria the Bold, which card is awesome, but that does up my curve. That's already kind of high. I don't really like Lux. And I don't really like those spells, so it's definitely not Lux. Lucian is just so good. You get Lucian and Senna? All right, I'm just going to take Lucian and Senna, right? No, I guess I I guess I should take the expensive stuff. Let's see what is this? Allegiance grant all allies plus one plus one. Dang, that's pretty good too. All right, well, I'm gonna take this. Yeah, that Vanguard is very does look really good, giving all of my stuff plus one plus one. Yeah, we just gotta just gotta take that. Banner Man, Double Battlesmith. I'll take Double Battle, Double Battlesmith. So I'll play Turn Two Battlesmith. Turn Three, we'll play another Battlesmith, and then Turn Four, we can play the Vanguard and make two Four Threes. Steel. Oh, 
and just kind of go from there. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. Discipline and steal. Oh, right. yeah, they just go straight to attacks. That makes sense. And I'm just going to take five. So, you know, we're starting off kind of behind. But hopefully this helps us catch up. Attack. And then my plan is to play just is to double spell, play two drop, three drop. Garens. Yeah, we're going to have to detain this wolf. Even though I don't love it. But we're going to have to. Actually, with three mana, I don't, I don't, can't actually play anything. Three, five, a six, a four, and a six. For justice, for Demacia. And I detained on the two two that was blocking, so that like if they used a removal spell on it, you know, like it was already just gonna die. Give elite allies. Let's do it. These things are going to be big. Those are big. Alright, so you are going to be taking you, and then you, 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 I think, yeah. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know why one is a 6-6 six, six and the other is a 5-5. Five, five. That doesn't make a ton of sense. I'm not sure why that is.
Boo. Why can't I add more blockers? Okay, there we go. Face me. I think plus eight plus four. As regeneration. Hmm. Captain Crown Guy, call me Garrett. So Dulce, getting these two things out here, they're both lethal. The elusive thing isn't a lethal attacker. These are four lethal attackers. I'm not giving them like the opportunity to play more things. Boom. All right, four and two. All right, we're getting XP for afterwards. So I can get rid of detain and get this thing. Play, discard a spell to grant me health equal to its cost. No, I don't know, the detain's been okay. Secession or another battlesmith? Oh man, maybe we just need more battlesmiths. The thing is, as we see there, only having being able to have six. I'm gonna switch that. I'm gonna take another Battlesmith. <laughs> only being able to have six creatures is kind of rough. But you know, I can I can just also attack and block with the Battlesmiths. They're still two mana two twos, but so basically trading you know three mana three three for the two mana two two that gives my other stuff plus one plus one. Um, there's no battlesmiths here. I'm gonna replace all those. I'm gonna keep the one drop. Wow, still that's just like a much worse hand. That just got a whole lot worse for me. New recruit reporting in. Yeah, that's just much worse. That's what I get. I guess that's what I get from mulliganing aggressively instead of just keeping a good hand. A real battle. Ouch. This is just so much worse. What happens if I detain like this 4 4, the escaped abomination? I guess I'll just detain it. Does it have nothing else to do with my mana? And if they get if they kill my 2-2 and they get a 1-1 back, oh well. Well if they I mean, if they would have attacked with Callista, they, you know, I had the, um, the two two that would have blocked it at the time. Oh wait, no, no, because fearsome. So yeah, I can't, I couldn't block it. Okay. So yeah, that's so that's why it was a free attack because of fearsome. I got gotcha. you. I'm picking up what you're putting down.
Yeah, I could have had something that pumped the power. Yeah, like rep repost would have been big time. Elusive. Lady Elise, where are you? Do, 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 do. Go, Garen, go. Okay, that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm gonna make this attack where I'm sacrificing my 2-1 to get both of these in. So I'm basically trading my 2-1 for their 1-1, one, one, if you kind of think of it like that, where I get it, where I get the, Garen gets the ability to strike. Their 7-7 seven, seven turns into a 7-5, so now now these will trade. So I think this is just a I think that's just a good attack for me. Yep, so now Garen just needs one more strike to level up, which all Garen's level up just does is give him plus one plus one, which isn't huge, but. You know, it's something. Kill an ally. What does that thing deal? Oh, kill an ally to deal its damage to some somebody else. All right, sure. Sure. I'll just play you, Lux. You can just you can just be out here chilling. We shall not rest until all betrays. Hmm. Yeah, these expeditions are really long. Yeah. Yeah, we're still on the one expedition that we did that we started almost four hours ago. <laughs> these these things are super there long. Is life, there is hope. Definitely get your money's worth, that's for sure. Oh, man, they have karma also? They're they have Karma and Cal Callista. The, they have some really good uh, champions. Illuminate the enemy. Mm. Time to get my hands dirty. So this is the second one, yeah. Our first one, yeah, so as you see over here, so our first expedition we went 7-1. This expedition we're 4-2. and two. Okay, we got a vengeance. Okay. Vengeance can be good. We can 
kill the karma. That's true. Vengeance will have Lux flip. What's what's a final spark? No, oh, please stop. What's this final spark? There we go. Zero mana. Do four damage to an enemy unit. Ooh, that's good. All right, what they just do? Probably something. You play this thing, kill an ally, then revive it. So they probably killed their karma. Uh, I'm going to try to kill this thing. Okay. I really don't like that you have to click okay thing. When you have, when you obviously can't interact with anything else. Yeah, Christard, yeah, I'm, I'm just giving a d different deck or a different game a chance. Aren't you supposed to flip? I guess that didn't count as me spending six mana on spells, I guess. I guess. To the field. Stand in you have no alibi. Because their spell went first, then like mine fizzled, so I didn't. So it's not like I even spent mana on the spell, I guess. So when it fizzles, it just doesn't count. Going to the light. I'll write my own story. All right, but we're going to be just attacking as soon as it's our turn. We're just going to attack right away. Um, yeah, Christer, uh, yeah, you have a deck list for submission. Yeah, you can, you can, uh, just whisper it to me on here. There we go. You can click on my name and whisper it to me. I, I honestly don't know when the next time I'm going to be playing Magic is. I don't have, like, a, any time, but I'll take a look at it and everything. Um, besides that, uh, we have the Discord. Um, Discord, you know, if, if you, that's what I really recommend probably more is, like, the Discord putting it on there and uh, what is this thing deal one damage to all enemy units heal your nexus three so they're gonna go to nine two four six eight because um, you know like you you can get some feedback from from everybody on it and everything I shouldn't have given the elusive thing. Okay. I shouldn't have given the elusive thing the plus three, plus three, because that thing's valuable. I don't want them to use the removal spell on it. What could have been? Looks like damage is going through. Another win. GG. We're at five wins. We are at five wins. Okay, do we want to do any trades? Do we want to trade this elite for a four Demacia? Trade the one drop for the three drop or the two drop for the six drop. I'm going to trade this last one. I'm going to, going to trade my two drop. We have three of these Vanguard defenders. And we have obviously all the battlesmiths are two drops, so we have tons and tons of two drops. I want this Scythera the Bold. I'm gonna do this last one. Alright, five wins. Here we go. No, I haven't watched any of the Magic Championship, because now I have besides the 
this time that I've been streaming yesterday, today, uh, with this, I've been real busy with the move and just unpacking and everything. And no, I actually hadn't uh, turned it on. How's how's it going? Yeah, I know it's on now. That's about all. It, but no, I haven't seen any of it. All right, we're gonna replace this. Replace this. And I'll keep these two. All right, sir, not numb. Have a good night. Uh, I guess I'll play it. New recruit reporting in. So basically I could play this as a 2-2 now, or I could wait till turn 3 and play it as a 3-3. Three, because three. if I play Battlesmith on turn 2, then on turn 3 I could play the Defender plus this and, you know, get it as a 3-3. Three, three. So basically I miss out on the two attacks with it. But honestly, maybe that was maybe, that could have been a better choice. That was kind of my first instinct was to wait. Ah, Klugowski. I'll do my best. Lost, but Mono Red is showing up a bunch. That's that makes sense. Yeah, Mono Red's strong. I think waiting would have been a waste. I like the early pressure helped with the turn one play. Yeah, I mean, we would dealt two damage and then it traded with the two one instead of trading with for something bigger. Uh, so we gotta play this thing. So their three three doesn't just kill my my uh, blacksmith, battlesmith. Otherwise, they would just use Fiora to kill the battlesmith. Ah, an auspicious season. Okay, they're just gonna frostbite it and then kill it. I would cut you, try me. Well, that's just how it is. For justice, for Demacia. All we do is play five fives. We will not hesitate. That's all we got, five fives. Oh, that's blessed by snow and stars. That's a good one. So much for your justice. Faster than my arrow. Um, attack frostbite the strongest enemy. We have a lot of enemies that are all just as strong, or a lot of, yeah, for them, a lot of enemies. Or 
let's see. their turn, right? Yeah, we'll wait on them. No attacks. I'm just going to go straight to attacks. We have this back to back. No backing down. Precision and grace. They're just gonna chump. Best not ruffle our feathers. Doing double chump. All right, what do you got? Because that thing plus three plus zero. Ah, an season. Well, I'll make mine eight eights. Dang, they still have the mana for a 7-6? Um, none of my stuff died. Ready for deployment. Petricide protect me. That 7-6 is gonna be kinda rough. Wow, another back-to-back? Those were back to back good draws. That thing's good. So, if I want to play back to back, I have to hold up five mana, which means I kind of just need to pass. I don't know, I'm not so. Not so confident in this one right now. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess with Fiora, maybe I shouldn't have played the small creatures because one more creature that dies, Fiora would level up. What is this? Deal four damage to an enemy unit if it has zero power. Otherwise, frostbite it. Okay, so frostbite it. So we're going to block there. And now I'm going to pump these two. <clears throat> they still have the 7 6. But one of our creatures died. Draw a card. Um, just attack and not let them play another blocker. No, there, so there is mana. So like we have, so nine mana. So like we each have nine mana a turn. Like, you know, so like you both have one mana a turn. This is the mana over here. And then you both have two mana, three mana, and so on. So this is turn nine, so we both have nine mana. In for 
Station! They just didn't use any. So now next turns. So now we both have ten. You can you can if you don't use mana, you get to store up to three mana for just spells. Uh, when I'm summoned, grant me plus one plus one for each ally that's died. So they have twenty. Twenty trample damage. That just kills me. Right? Because I only get eight dan Yeah, because I can't. You can't triple, triple block or anything. Injustice. Yeah, they're just exact, exact lethal. Ouch! Can't double block. <clears throat> Ouch. Yeah, opponent did play that very well. So we're five and three, but we're not uh, eliminated yet because you have to lose two in a row, which we've not done that. Yes, I want this for a post. Yeah, because I need more. I need more tricks. So give me this for a post. I need more tricks. All right, so we still get to play because we. So you have to lose two in a row. Oh, oh! If I would have traded the two three elusive thing, I could have I could have stayed at one. Oh, because it had toughness, so it would have taken one less, and I would have stayed at one. Oh no, I didn't think of that. Wow. Well, I needed to do that. I don't like that hand. This hand is worse. At least it's six drops. Hmm. I should I should have uh, really looked at my cards a little bit more and really you know like obviously that Take a look at <clears throat> blocking was important Nothing or like the just the last thing of the game. I should have uh, done a little bit more math, especially after a long game like that. You know, ten turns. I thought about keeping Ready for deployment. the uh, the three drop in hand, like with when I mulliganed all four cards. I was thinking about keeping the three drop that that gets you a four dementia. And now I wish I did. Man, this is not drawing good. Three five drops and two six drops. That is not good. So we're at least going to bank all three of this mana for later for just spells. So this one spell in hand is just going to cost two mana now. Just another five drop? Gross. Oh, well. Demacian steel protects me. All right, block these things. We'll 
still bank the other two mana. Go, Garen, go. Both last game and this game, we've drawn zero of our... We have the five Battlesmiths in the deck. And we drew zero last game. We've drawn zero this game, too. You cannot stall judgment. Just, you know, a... Uh, Coincidence. Today you are King Ku. Break their ranks. I guess we don't make that trade. It's not a trade we should do. Silent as death. What? Why are they telling me that? Yeah, it's un unfortunate that we haven't seen any of the Battlesmiths. It's unfortunate that we drew three fives and two sixes, all those back to back. I just can't play all these things. Ha! I knew we had to draw a Battlesmith with me talking about it. Um, so I have kind of the problem not being able to double spell with them. I can just go with Sithria this turn and then go Battlesmith plus Elite next turn. What is this thing? Uh, Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Let's play the six six. <clears throat> Just gonna play large creatures and attack. And hope it works out. That's my plan. Summon two Spectral Riders. A couple of four threes. They still have four mana. Follow my lead. Seems like they're not very. Not very worried about attacking. Frostbite two enemies. Okay. Yeah, it's a good spell. Good spell. When I am ethereal, ally attack. Oh yeah, that card's really good. Okay, so they just wanted more spots, I guess. All right, round number seven. Because then Lux can, you know, see us play the harsh winds next turn, and get 
get some spells. Yeah, so I think we want to get Lux in play first and then play the Harsh Winds afterwards. So I don't really want to attack with Scythria because then Scythria just trades at the 4 3. Summon three Unleashed Spirits. And they just get to, basically that just means they get to just double block these, but that's fine. They get to just block them. Lux is going to lose that barrier anyway. Just doesn't really matter. Unless they have something that gives them rally and then they get to attack with these things. That would be bad for me. All right, but now I get to rally. Attack. Um. Hmm. All right, detain that. Yeah, we're going to detain with, I guess, with Lux. So Lux has seen five out of six mana of spells now. A lot of thinking to do with this game. That's for sure. You cannot stall judgment. Okay. Um Break the ranks. I mean, they've already played stuff. Let's play this thing. We arrived as soon as we could. Good to fight by your side. Yeah, the game is a lot more complex than it, than it looks at first glance. I agree. I will play my part. Uh, maybe I was supposed to just play the harsh winds and not this thing. down to two but they have nothing left besides this one card in hand Stay resolute. so this is looking very good for me all right we did it Oh, right. Oh, I could have attacked on their turn. 
Right, I forgot. I meant to do that anyway. Oh well. Yeah, I could have just attacked on their turn and killed them. For sure. <sighs> this does get tough. You know, a couple hours, you know. This is what we're six hours in now. Six hours, 17 minutes in. This gets tough. Okay. So here we go. Final boss time. Let's trade a pick. Um, I think I may trade this this three two for the repost. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because again, we just have a lot of creatures. Which I guess a four Demacia that my opponent doesn't know about that could be better than the scout. Actually, I'm, let's do that. Let's get the four Demacia. Okay. Oh, then we can trade again. Now we can trade a four Demacia for that. A scout for a bannerman. Yes, give me this bannerman. What is this thing? Three one strike. Create a challenger follower in hand. That's not bad. But redeemer is good. Give me this bannerman. So we can trade Lux away for Lucian. Oh, I kind of want to do that. Yeah, I like I like Lucian more than Lux. Um. Judgment is really powerful, though, too. I think we do one of the first two trades. Do you think we just get Judgment? Judgment is super powerful. All right. Yeah, I, I think we kind of get Judgment. Um... We can trade it. No, I don't want to trade it back for back. I've been getting more and more spells, but yeah, Lux is kind of weak. I think I keep all of these. The only one to maybe do is trade this thing for a repost, but I, I don't think I want to do that. Um, I guess I could take a Sergeant instead of a back to back. No, the back to backs have been really good. I've been I've been liking those, so I'm gonna skip that trade. <clears throat> Final battle. Can we go back to back seven win? All right, let's get those final boss emotes in the chat. Let's go, final battle. Boss time. This is it, the final boss. And then we get to see what, what do we actually get for getting these seven wins. Hopefully it's a lot. Expedition was pretty cool though, like l really learning how to win the game. Or learning how to win the game, learning how to play the game and learning about all the cards and everything. Good learning experience for sure. Definitely replacing Lux, and I think I replace one of these. Oh, that is so good. So definitely just pass. And we got turn two Smith, turn two Smith plus that thing, and make it a four four. I'd follow you anywhere. Uh-oh. It's dangerous out there. Take this. This is last breath, you get a spiderling. I'm a smith, not a soldier. Nope. Hands up for forging, not for you. You dare. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not like I'm we're not getting that much extra value from this or like you know we're not waiting that that many you know like we waited just a little bit like we basically but like the difference between a 2-2 two -two and a 4-4 four -four is just absolutely huge i think that's definitely worth the wait but yeah it's a good call that our opponent is very aggressive and therefore we need to be aggressive also 
Yeah, I have like the mechanics in this new game. Yeah. Yeah, I have. It's been very, real interesting. Um, but yeah, no, no MTG tonight. RDC, oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm trying, trying a new game out. <clears throat> Dude, we've had an awesome curve for this final boss, though. Kind of looked like they fell in vain. For justice, for Demacia, for the glory of Demacia. Did let them play that. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should, uh, now I wish I would have just attacked. No. Come. Stay a while. I guess I roped and went too f too far. <laughs> two spiders. Yes. Hatch. Yuck. Be strong. Let me change into something more. Come to that. Yeah, that's true. We're gonna need this Garen's judgment. Show them what we're made of. I guess we'll be able to play it next turn if I play Sithria. Right now. Lead our charge. Demacia, now I'll still be able to play the judgment next turn. As Demacia wills it. Yeah, I, I, maybe I could have saved a mana. I would have played the Garen. I, basically, me playing that Garen really, really cost me. Oh, but now, oh, because the Garen dies, so now I can't. Hmm. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. So I need the Garen to be in play so that the other Garen is the whatever thing. For king and country. The Garen's judgment. Returned with interest. Be strong! Yeah, opponent's deck is does seem pretty crazy for a draft deck. In the name of the fallen. Hmm. Hold fast. 
This basically just has to work. They have an instant. Oh, I should do it with the Garen so Garen levels up. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I was just thinking of like doing the most damage, but yeah, because then Garen would have struck twice and would have leveled up, and then I would have had Rally, and then I would have been able to attack on this turn. Okay, I didn't even think of that. That's a, that's a good. That would have been a good plan. Dang, they just completely refill. Wow, double remembrance. One mana five fives. Final boss is tough. It's the final countdown. Final boss is tough. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Let's just bank the mana. Or I guess this thing just regenerates, so yeah, there's no reason not to attack here. Um, I'm not gonna attack all. I'll attack with this also. I'm not attacking with this this thing, because I don't want them to be able to kill that. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, I, I don't think it's worth drawing a card off of... Like, I think it's better to have this Cythria in play over drawing a card, honestly. Cut my Nexus in half. Last Breath return to hand. Actually, do the do it correctly now. With it, with it being the Garen. No. Down to two. Our ancestors are watching. Hmm. Don't hold back. So yeah, we can just attack. Give these plus, they can't can't block with that thing. Because all my creatures have fearsome now. And there we go. Final boss defeated. GG's.
Dude, this game's so intense. This game is so intense. Another seven win expedition. Expedition number two. So total experience 2,000. Nice. Seven wins, trial complete. All right, double seven win. Let's claim these rewards. So we got champion, sh champion capsule and 3,500 shards. So the champion capsule gives us a Draven. Ugh, that's like the worst champion. And then we get this. So this is what, an epic, right? And then this is a rare. So we got two rares, a Kempunk pickpocket and a Wraith Caller. And then we got a rare wild card. So that's good. So two rares, a rare wild card, an epic, and a champion. And then we got 3,500 shards. And we got 2,000 experience. So let's see, what does it say? You can play up to three expeditions each week. Okay, so we can only play three a week. Okay. Why does it keep on doing these? This was fun. So, okay, so it costs 3,000 shards to play. We just, we just won 3,500 shards for doing it. So, you know, we got a, another free, ex, you know, well, not free, but, you know, we got the cost of another expedition. Oh, you can play as many as you want, but you only get rewards for three. We'll, we'll probably still just want to do three. Oh, and then we got, so wait, we have an extra, oh, no, no, we don't have that. So, yeah, we'd have to trade in 3,000 shards. A champion costs 3,000 shards also. Okay. So basically, instead of being able to choose your champion, you can do the expedition and and win like we did there. So you know, like we got we got a champion, we got our uh, shards back for playing it. Plus, we got all the extra stuff and the two thousand experience. Yeah, definitely, definitely, really good value by doing it. All right, so we got as far as our level up. You know, like we were in Demacia. Um. We leveled up, we got a rare wild card, we got a capsule, a Demacia capsule, which gave us some commons and one rare. Yeah, just, get, um, yeah. That's, so, so some guy apparently already already almost got the entire collection just for, from playing Expedition. So getting all the XP and maxing out the region tracks. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. That... So we got 88 shards and two commons in this bronze chest. And then we also got a wild capsule. Four common wild cards and a rare wild card. Dang, so we got lots of stuff today. Lots of stuff. Today. Sweet. We are building up our collection. Awesome. So you think change region? I'm I'm gonna switch I'm gonna stay in the region till eight. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna go towards the to the champion capsule and then switch. So I'm going to I'm going to go to to 8 instead of 4 and then change cuz I'm not really using the wild cards right now anyway. So I don't need to like just go switch right now and try to get another wild card. So yeah, we stayed at 8 till 8 with Noxus. We'll do that with Demacia also. So that I uh Nen says I I have probably about half the collection I've been doing all the expeditions that you can. Okay. So is that the best use of shards? You know, as, as we said here, we have the 4,280, 
shards is is just using them on expeditions. Is that the best use of them? Easily best use. Okay. Because the other the other use would be what like buying buying like champion right buying like a champion wild card or what or I guess oh it's just like in the collection if you find this is how it works so you show unowned like if we wanted a Teemo yeah you'd right click in there so then it would take 3,000 and you'd get your Teemo so like if you want specific stuff for for constructed that's like the other use yeah yeah the store is pretty reasonably priced and stuff too but there we go all right so um we'll get those tomorrow so our weekly vault we're up to level 10 unlocking on tuesday it looks like three platinum chests by now awesome so awesome day today so yeah our, our quick aggro deck uh in uh ranked we went six and one and then we did the expedition where we had the seven one and seven three two seven win expeditions awesome day there so those of y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments um you know let me know about legends of Ruterra and like uh drafting if you're doing the expeditions let me know your uh, strategies, all that kind of stuff. Um, but so far, so good. All right, but that's it here for uh, the second expedition of Legends of Runeterra. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.